Hey folks, how we doing? It's 6.56 a.m. 12-20-2015. Um, in the following video, it's going to just start like a brand new video. Um, I told you that I was going to tell you what uh, uh, I think Kevin Collins, um, what his mother was wearing when uh, she killed her son. And uh, uh, she was wearing a nice formal dress. She was pr playing, you know, pretending to be like rich person in the house. Um, and that's why when she hit him the first time, just to smack him, but because she'd been drinking, when she spilled a drink, it sloshed all over her hand. The cigarette, half the drink was gone. She literally sloshed it on her dress. And that's when she lost it. Anyway, back to uh, the video. Good morning, folks, and uh, it's morning, but it's probably not as early as it looks in my face. Um, excuse me. I'm trying to wake up. My, I'm shutting down again, which is nice. Six eighteen, Sunday, December twentieth. Um. This is about the Kevin Collins case. He was murdered in 1984, San Francisco. I've called the FBI up, three, four different people talked to him. So I gave them all the information they needed to get to find where the body was located. I'm going to draw some pictures for those of you in the FBI. A, a cup of coffee. A cup of coffee and a few words. I could have solved a thousand cases for you. Bingo. Why? Because I want to help. You know how many people are out there? Mothers, fathers, brothers, sisters, husbands, wives that have lost their loved ones and it's still hanging in the air and then when they come to see them late at night they feel that energy and it tears them up crying hell I'm going to cry thinking about it what the hell's the matter with you people your arrogance is so disgusting it's like your little boy the GBI dude down at the Walmart following you down there to excuse me to pick up some money he was so lost I almost ran him over and going into the handicapped parking lot. <laughs> he, it's like he froze. It's like a, a what they call a deer in the headlights or something. I'll run off the road before I hit an animal. It was just like, I should have gone in his head, but that would have been rude. I said, move, get out of my damn parking spot. <laughs> he just froze <laughs> and he slowly walked away he was like don't move don't move slow <laughs> I guess you uh, FBI folk when you have someone you don't want to work with you you put them in a GBI or something I don't know um so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and solve the case for you right now so you know you actually said some other guy who's dead did it. <laughs> That's a good way to wash away a case, isn't it? What about the person who actually did it? The blame needs to go there. First off, it was his mother. And I, I'm going to tell you where all the DNA proof is, where the body is, and everything else. Exact address? No. But the information I give you, you can follow through the um, property, and you can go right to the body. The body's leaning over as you're, as you're on the ground, looking underneath it. There's a cement, the corner of a, a newly, it's an older house with a newer a cement platform in the back. And it's like this, like this at a corner. The body's right here. As you look down at the body, he's laying on his left side in a somewhat fetal position with his left leg a little bit up and his right leg a little bit uh, outwards. Um... I already give you all, gave you all the DNA evidence and everything else you needed. 
It's amazing. I told you everything you needed, and then what did you do? Only days later, or a week or whatever, you went over to some other guy's house, a pedophile or something, I don't know. You went over to some other guy's house who had a black dog, and one of your carnivore dogs uh, actually smelled some bones underneath the guy's uh, um, driveway uh, in his uh, garage. So you dug up the whole garage, the cement and everything, and you found the, the bones of an old dog. That man and his big black dog were talking to him. They were talking to him, okay? And then he went inside the house, okay? Where his mother killed him. I'll tell you exactly what, how it happened, basically what she was wearing, what the inside of the house looked like, the fireplace where she killed him, and why. <sighs> Disgusting. Anyway, um... You were supposed to do so much more, FBI. You were supposed to do so much more. Nothing, everything kept changing as everything kept getting destroyed on the other side that's been running things. But there's enough of you in there that have heart where you should have just stood up and said something, done something, whatever. Anyway, I follow some, uh, for those that this is, uh, I'll talk about this later. But for those friends of mine, uh, you know how I always I made up my little invisible friend over here called Joey, trying to be funny, and uh, actually took some of my uh, spirit and kind of set it aside to do that. Um, where I got the name Joey was an old friend of mine. It is a friend of mine, a very strong, powerful soul. Uh, this guy's awesome, and I just had a concert with him yesterday. It was so funny. Um, um, talking with him, going and cranking him up a bit. Uh, he's so neat. It's no wonder I came off of that name Joey because that came, I did that came somewhere, and that's where it came from. When I, when I, when I saw his email, I looked at him. I'm like, huh? I'd be damned. And I, I saw part of it. I couldn't see all of it, and I said, I'll go see it later. And then later on, um, you know, I'm doing a lot all over the place, folks. I, I can't stop just look at something. I got stuff going on all over the place all the time. So then finally, I looked at him as I started feeling really familiar. I looked at him. I said, oh, damn, that's the that's the Joey. <laughs> that's not the spirit. That's the name, you know, of, of what I was uh, seeing. Anyway, uh, that's where it came from. He's really cool. Uh, he's got a lot of neat stuff he's going to do for you soon. Do for you soon. Blah. Where's my coffee and my chowa tea? FBI, you didn't even need to bring the chowa tea. I would have brought that myself. Just a cup of coffee, okay? Let's get down to the meat of it. I've mentioned this once on video, I think. Sometimes I don't get to finish the video. i got to stop and do something, and then it, it never gets uh, put up. All right, first things first. Um... Um, what's his name? Was uh, um, what's his name? Kevin. Kevin. You know I suck with names. Kevin Collins was at the bus stop, um, and it uh, had to do with extracurricular activities at school. This is all information that's um, they print out, but I don't care what they print out. I have to know something for myself. There's a like a bus to take them, and then that's when the guy or or bring them back or something. Um, that's when he was talking with the uh, the pedophile guy um, that had a big black dog who's now dead. Um, but uh, that's when he's talking with him. The guy just like a little boy, so he's just talking with him. Nothing happened. Then he went inside the house, and that's where the excitement started. His mom, okay. Um, She's sole. She's thirty-seven percent negative as far as uh, um, what she's supposed to be, but it was a it was a screwed up cleanup by the original first being male, and she was still forty-seven percent negative. Now, please remember, I'm not Leonardo da Vinci this life, okay? Um.
what happened is he came home and she was drinking. And she had a funny way of vodka, sometimes gin. She had a funny way where she would hold the glass. Oh, wait, wait a minute, let's see. Okay. Uh, let me try to make this look a little more like what it is. Okay. And just to make sure we get what it is, I'm going to write, I'm going to label it. Fireplace. Okay, guys? Fireplace, right here. This is, this was all uh, um, brick with the slats going this way. Didn't want to take the time to do it. And there was this line of uh, bricks around the outside of it that was higher. Okay? Now, she came home, uh, he, he came into the house. And she, there's right, right here, there's a couch. Okay? Dear sweet mom, mommy dearest, was sitting on the couch. And in her right hand, I'm watching this happen again. It's disgusting. In her right hand, she's holding her uh, um, uh, favorite little glass for her, uh, um, you know, vodka, gin and tonic, whatever she wanted to have. Um, she's holding it. Um, it's got a, a, a couple green olives in it. Those those glasses like this, they're easy to spill. Anyway, um, so she's holding it in her right hand, and then her son comes into the house, and he was standing right here. He's standing right here, looking towards her. She's over here, like this, and she there's something about uh, the bus or the extracurricular activity, blah, 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 and she got pissed at him. She's already been drinking a good bit. She's holding a glass with the right hand with the cigarette in there too. And then with the left hand, she goes to smack him. Because she's, she's aggressive, she's abusive, and she's hitting her kids. So she goes to smack him with the left hand. When she did that with the right hand, it spills the drink. Like, she was already drunk, well, on the way to drunk. She spilled it all over her cigarette, all over the floor. And about half of her drink was now gone. And she lost it. She lost it. She grabs a hold of him by the back of his hair. Okay, by the back of the head here. Grabs a hold of him. Can't get a hold of him. And then she goes like this. She gets That gets her madder. Grabs him like this. And then takes him and slams him down. Slams him down. Right here. On the on the uh, brick that was next to the fireplace, and the inside of the um, of the room, it's like uh, white, like an eggshell white kind of thing. That's the basic color that's going all the way through the house. This and everything was the same color, okay. Um, and then she lost it. She just she lost it. So she smacked him down one time hard, and that hit him in the head. The blood is just over. It is it's embedded right here inside the uh, bricks now she got so she was so crazy after the, after the initial smack she picked up his head and she goes one two three three more times and killed him i mean he was already dead and then she wound up dragging him off and uh um now okay crime scene number one should i write that on there okay folks it really pisses me off that I try to help y'all, and y'all ignore it. I understand there's a lot of folks that can't see all that well, and um, uh, and they're trying to help because of their heart. But I also understand they can see better. They can uh, see better than uh, what they what they even think because they were made not to be able to uh, see that and send it off because of the abuse system that's been going on in creation. Okay, now where's the bones? All right, now you got this, right, guys? Okay, wait a minute. Let me fix this.
DNA evidence. Okay, got the label, got it? Okay. That's where the evidence is. If the fireplace is still there. Okay, whatever. But that's um there's something there's something there for you to find, okay? Now where's the bones? If you follow the woman where she's been living, the property, you're gonna find out there's an older house. Okay, we're gonna be real general about this. This is the house, okay? Age for house. Right here, there's a new cement patio. You know, well, it's not new, it's old now, but you know, uh, it, it, you'll notice that it's uh, not as old as a house. That's where poor Kevin is. His, his eyes are facing this way his feet are like this and here's the body and the head that's where Kevin's body's laying if you follow her where she's lived the mom's lived you're gonna find that house you just go there something's gonna go in your head and say yes 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 okay damn I'm sorry, folks. There's no excuse for arrogance. There really isn't. Poor Kevin. I'm talking to him right now. Um, he's telling me thank you, but he's, you know, poor guy's not happy at all. And then he, but it, it's he doesn't understand. It's, it's kind of like, you know, why didn't they help? It's like, what's the matter with him? But at the same time, he does understand. Um, when he got, uh, when he was, uh, uh, after he was killed, okay, he came out of his body, he looked, and then he just took off. And what I've told you is what he told me, and I'm looking at it as it happened, so I know it's true, so I'm telling you. Now, what he can't see, because he already went to the other side, which is, because <clears throat> he already went to the other side, it was like a foot and a half to the right, three foot up, is his mom dragging a body out, wrapping it up and foot of blood and um, putting some kind of white towel or something around her head, his head, put him in some kind of thing and drug, drug him off um, out the back. But... Uh, that's what happened to poor Kevin Collins. Y'all are sad. Kill people. The, your upper echelon of your FBI, you kill people, the wrong people sometimes, just to make sure you can find out more information about the ones that really did kill them. I tried to help you with another one of those cases, and the guy literally got on a boat and went back to uh, uh, the Middle East. <laughs> that had that was with that uh, uh, Boston uh, Marathon bombing. For a cup of coffee, somebody could have solved the case. I don't want my name on it. I want to take care of stuff. I'm here to serve. Just don't bother trying to tell me what to do. I'm not a servant. I serve. It's a difference. Anyway, that's enough of this. I'm starting to get pissed. Um, uh, people, things are going to change. Um... No one can stop it. It's already almost done on the other side. Then it happens here. So. Love you all. That includes you, FBI. Um, those of you at the top of the FBI. Some of you going to have some problems. Your head's going to go poof. You know, you're going to have heart attacks. Just. Doc says, I don't know what happened. His heart blew up. Um, those of you that need to be taken out directly will be. 
um, the rest of you just going to be removed. Um, creation is changing. And the third dimension is just this much of it. Okay? Um, while we're in a body, our whole life is this third dimension. We can't even visualize out in space, let alone the size of the universe and all the other new universes already made. Um, once you open up, folks, you can see everything. Well, you know, you have access to be able to see everything. You just don't try to see it at one time. Hey, folks, I love you. Look, uh, take care. Um, things are going to change. When you, when you say, what can I do to change a government? You can't. Not without physical violence. It's going to get changed. And there's going to be very little violence. But it has to be done on the other side by what's in charge. And it will be. Love y'all, man. Have a good one.